Sam, for those of you who don't know me, um, Get Healthy You TV trainer. We have about 40 minutes today, body weight only, no extra weights, nothing like that. It looks like we've got people joining us today. Good morning, you guys. Good morning. Um, yes, Anya, there might be some burpees. We'll see. Um, you'll have to just take a look. Good morning, Robin. Good morning, Stephanie. Um, we'll get started here. So I'm going to get my timer ready. I'm going to get the uh, music going. Um, as always, if you want to put your own music on today, that's a okay. Mine is just going to be our power music. Just again for me, but know that um, you can always blur your own music in the background. It's totally up to you. We'll get the music started and then I'll get my timer ready to rock and roll because we always want to make sure that we are staying true to our time. About 40 minutes of that body weight circuit today, 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off. But let's just get ready to warm up. Here we go, team. Take a deep breath down. Arms slowly step down. Take a deep breath in. Glutes, hamstring, just starting to wake up that body. Deep squat down, hands go overhead. Press down, you got one more just like that. Good, reach up. I want you to grab one wrist, doesn't matter which one. Squeeze to this side, right? So open up that side body. You're using one hand to pull yourself to the side. Come back to the center. Switch arms. So grab opposite wrist. Squeeze, stretch on over. Right? Feel that opposite side oblique just starting to open up here. Hands come back to heart center. We're going to want you to forward fold all the way down. Hands go to the ground, right? So make sure that we have our watch going, right? I set mine to high interval intensity training because our heart rate is going up and down. Right, we want to make sure that we log this. Just holding right here. Press one hand into the ground. Hand goes up to the ceiling. Roll your wrist out. Right, feel your hamstring here. Opposite hand comes back down to the ground. Open up that other side body. Hand goes overhead. Just roll your wrist right here. Feel those hamstrings. Good morning. Both hands to the ground. Take a deep squat. It's down and up. Down and up. You got one more just like that right there. Good. So walk your feet together. Ankles come together. Right? Keep those hands on the ground. Now I want you to walk your feet back. Find a high plank and a hold. Right here, your shoulders are stacked directly on top of your wrist. Where right? you're activating your core here. Now heel comes to the opposite side of your hand. Reach that hand up to the sky. Roll your wrist out right here. Right? Feel your hamstrings. Glutes, the back side of those legs, right? A few arm circles forward. And then that same arm opposite, go backwards, right there. Reach that arm to the sky. Hand comes down, find that high plank, switch legs, right? Doesn't matter which leg you're doing today, right? Left or right, just know that you're twisting. Big arm circles forward. And switch direction, hands go back. Reach that arm all the way to the sky right here. Hand comes down, find that high plank. You have Spider-Man, just bring it to that elbow and back and right there. So it's one center, other side, center. Again, right or left, doesn't matter. Waking up your obliques right here. Now bring it down this center. You have eight, seven, speed it up right here. You have five, four, hold your high plank in two, one, hold it right there. Reach back, press back to your downward dog. Pedal out your heels. Waking up the back side of your calves. We're going to be doing some jumping movement today to get that heart rate up. So I want you to wake up those calves. Pedal it out right there. Good. Hands walk back. Find yourself in a yogi squat. Opening up your hips. Bring shoulders relaxed down. Right here. Opening up those hip flexors, inner thighs. Bring press one shoulder forward. And then switch to the other side right there. Good, so today, I want you to push yourself for the working set. It's a shorter amount on the uh, movement off, right? So I want you to go hard, and then know you have just a few seconds to get that heart rate back up. Good, standing all the way up right here. We're gonna start with jumping jacks, good. Starting to wake up that heart rate. Knowing we have about five, six minutes right here of that warm up, right? So. There's never any waste of time in your warm up. We always have to start to just wake up that body instead of just jumping right in to that hard working interval. But right here, you have eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, one. Just run it out right here. Pump those arms. Bring your heels to your butt. Right chest is lifted tall. Shoulders down out of your ears. Right here, right here. You're going to pull to the front. Knee comes forward. Right, if you'd like to start right here, low impact. Good. Heart rate is coming up. You're starting to breathe out of your mouth right here. If you want to add that hop right here. Good. Find that breath. Pull your arms down. We're going to stay on one side. You have four, three, two, one right here. It's pull. Pull. Just stay on one side. Stay low and pull it in. Eight, seven, five, four, three, two, one. Switch. Eight, seven. Yes, you can. Five, four, other side in two, one. Here we go. It's four, three, two, one. Switch. Four, three, two, one. One, switch, four, three, two, one, switch, four, three, two, jump it out right here. Breathe. Find the jumping jacks again. Good. So you're going to have one jumping jack, one knee lift in four, three, two, one. You have one jumping jack, one knee lift. Opening up, side body right here. Pull that knee to your chest using your lower obliques to eight. Seven, six, five, four, hamstring curl right here. Step, pull, pull, pull. Opening up the backside. We're going to want you to pull your arms back and kick your butt to your heels. Your heel to your butt, rather. Go ahead, send it right here. It's down, reach up, down, reach up, down, reach up. Just a few more spots, waking up that lower body. Upper body, heart rate's coming up right here. You have four. Reach it high for three. Yes, you can. Two and one. Good. So hopefully we're feeling a little bit warm. If you need extra warm up right here, press pause. Do what you need to do and come back and do it with us. So now grab water, towel. Here's what's happening. 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off. The workouts are going to, or the exercises are going to build. I'm going to give you modifications, amplifications throughout the entire thing. Know that there are no repeating exercises today. So the very first movement I give you, you will never come back to it. So push yourself for these 50 seconds, knowing that you have 10 seconds off and you're not doing that exercise again. Okay, are we ready? So the very first movement, before we hit start on our clock, you're going to do a squat knee lift. Squat, knee lift. I'm going to give you variations throughout that 50 seconds, but that's where we're going to start. Know that it is going to build through this block. Here we go. Hands behind your head. You have squat, knee lift. Here we go. You have three, two, one. Hands behind your head, squat, down, knee lift. Right here. So this is where I want you to start. Hands behind your head, forcing yourself to stay upright. So I turn to the side. I don't want you leaning forward. I want you to sit down and back twist. Now, if you'd like to amp this one up a little bit, add a little hop as you twist. Right, it's up to you, knowing that you only have 50 seconds and you're not coming back to this movement. Weight is heavy through your heels. If you need, hands come to heart center. It's down, twist. Right, that's too much on your shoulders. Hands come here. You can find that squat and a little bit of that bounce. Right here, yes, you can. Three, seven. More seconds, five, four, yes, you can. Three, two, one, you have 10 seconds off. Next movement, you're gonna squat, lunge it back, switch, stand. Yes, you have three, two, one, here we go, it's squat. Lunge, switch, stand up, squat. Lunge back, jump and switch, stand up, squat. Lunge back, jump and switch, Stand, squat, lunge back, jump in, switch. Ready, you can take the jump out of it. Stand up, lunge back, stand it up, lunge back, switch. Right, taking it low impact, it's totally up to you. I need you to find strength today. Right, you are stronger than you think you can. This workout is going to go by fast because we have absolutely no repeating exercises. You stay with me, you go faster. 
totally up to you. We have four more seconds right here. Yes, you can. Four, three, two, rest right here. So we've got squat jumps with a tap back. So squat jump, tap it back. Squat jump, stay low, tap it back. Are you ready? You've got three, two, one. Squat jump, hands can go behind your head. Just tap it back. It's not a huge range of motion. Jump, hands can come to heart center. Jump, right, I need you to stay low in that tap back. So from this side, you've got that squat jump. Here, stay low, just tap it back. Jump, tap it back. Right, heart rate is coming up right here. This is cardio. This is strength, yes. Stay low in that squat jump. Just notice how as I sink back, tiny tap, jump, tiny tap back, yes. Right here, I need you to be light on your feet. Go faster, go slower, take the jump out of it. Stand up, tap. You have three, two, one, done. Here we go, Anya, just what you asked for. We have burpees with a quarter turn. Quarter turn, burpee down. Right here, you have three, let's go. Two, one, down, burpee, quarter turn. Burpee, quarter turn, yes, right here. Stand tall, face the side, take the jump out of it. Walk your feet back, walk your feet forward. Stand up, squat to the side. Stand up, you have options right here. Jump at the top, take the jump out, it's up to you. Here we go, it's 20. Three seconds, burpee down, quarter turn. Stay strong, knowing that this is the only time you have burpee quarter turn right here. 10 more seconds, breathe, light on your feet. Five, four, yes you can, three, one more, two, one, rest. Take this time, you have another 30 seconds to regain your breath, water. Towel. That was block number one. Right, so four movements, each going for 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Grab your towel, water. We have block number two coming up in about 15 seconds. This next block is going to start with forward and back lunges, so your squat. You're gonna go forward, move forward, Forward, I want you to try and do four, and then move back for four, three, two, one. Are you ready? Here we go, you've got five, four, let's go in three, two, one. Squat it forward, switching legs. I want you to try and get four to the front, four, backwards. Yes, you can right here. Cardio, legs is what this block is all about. So take the jump out of it. Squat, step back, squat. Right, it's up to you to find what works for your body today, right? Maybe you're feeling a little bit sore because you've been doing a lot these last few days. Maybe you feel extra, extra good. You have 15 seconds where you push yourself right here. Yes, forward and back, squeeze, low, stay low, stay low, stay low. You have five, four, three, two, one, done, 10 seconds. Next movement, I'm just getting you prepped, pendulum, one, just step forward, step back, I'll switch you halfway through. Yes, three, two, one, step forward, step back. Same leg, stepping forward and back until I tell you to switch. Right, so stay with me, go faster, or maybe you go a little bit slower. Right here, shoulders down. You should start to feel the leg that's staying stagnant on the ground, you should feel a little bit of that burn. Yes, you have four. Three, switch legs in two, one, switch those legs right here. So opposite leg stays on the ground. We've got that element of balance right in between. Yes, core is tight. You're able to get your breath back here, working on strength through the lower body, yes? Squeeze your glutes as you come up to stand. Got you have five, four, give me one more. Three, two, one, just like that, you're done, okay. Now, we have walk the plank burpee sprawl. Come on down here with me. You have elbow, elbow, hand, hand. Stand up, burpee sprawl, back down. It's elbow, elbow. Here we go. Three, two, one. It's elbow, elbow, hand, hand. You jump forward. Hands go high. You jump back. 
right here. You can take this from your knees, elbow, elbow, hand, hand. Jump up, but I want you to stay low. Hands come off the ground, come back down. Elbow, elbow, hand, hand. Jump it up, hands go high, back down, right? If you would like, you come back quickly. Elbow, elbow, hand, hand. Hands come up, release, back down. Right, if you wanna take the jump out of it, that's also an option. Come, walk your hands to your feet. Stay low. In that spot, you have five, four, one more, just like that. Three, two, one, done. That one's done. Right here. So now we have four skaters. One, two, three, four, four lunge jumps. One, two, you get the movement right here. You have three, catch your breath. Two, one, four skaters. One, as wide and low as you can go. Three, four, from there, you have four lunge jumps. One, two, three, four, stand up. Four skaters. Right, if you need, take the jump out of it, but stay low in your legs. Right here, you have four. Step back if you would like, or lunge forward. Right, it's up to you right here to find that push. After this, you have 30 seconds extra of your rest right here. Yes, breathe. You have three, two, one. Keep going. Yes, 12 strong seconds. Breathe. Shoulders down, get low, get low. Yes, you can. Do not quit on yourself. You're strong, your squad. Three, two, one, done. Grab your water, towel, block two is over with. You have an extra 30 seconds of rest here. Ooh. I need to catch my breath right here. So just wanna make sure that we are good to go here. Awesome. We have block number three, a little bit more focused on the upper body. We are starting with a blast off push up. So you push up down, come up to the top, you press back, come back forward. You have five more seconds, come back down to the ground, get your breath right here. So if you are feeling like lightheaded or you feel like your heart rate is way too high, let it come down before you come down to the ground. So set yourself up in that high plank, you have four, Three, we have a dog in the way. Two, one, right here. Good, so this is real life. Yeah, push up down, press back. Good, one, push up down, come to the top of your plank, press back where your knees hover underneath your hips. So I want you to feel your belly button squeeze up and in, or you should feel your abdominals pull high. Keep going as I cue you through this. If you need to come down to your knees, find the push up from your knees. Come up to your high plank, press back, right? Shoulders, chest, core working. You should feel that upper body, yes. On the push up, I always have to tell myself to squeeze my core, right? It's not just an upper body, chest workout, core is tight. You have one more in you, but rest. 10 seconds of your rest right here. Now we have that side plank. Come back down to the ground, you have a side plank. Top leg is up and over. Just hold that high plank right here, your side plank from your elbow. Now I want you to bring that back knee in to crunch right there. Good, squeeze. Back knee pulls in and you find that side body lifting. If you need, hand comes up, find that high plank and crunch right there. We're gonna switch sides. I just want you to flip on over, three, two, one, flip on over. I'm gonna come face you so that you don't see my backside. Right here, back knee pulls in. Lifting up through that side oblique that's facing the ground. Right, so don't drop down here. Lift up right here, both sides working. You have five, four, yes you can. Three, two, one. Now, back to some of those push-ups. I want you in a down dog position. You have a, plank, a pike push-up, down, find your high plank, knee comes across. Are you ready? I'll cue you through it. It's three, two, one. One pike push-up, so your butt is in the air. Now come down, knee goes to opposite elbow, press back. One pike push-up, hold down. Now, on that pike push-up, you are in a down dog position. I does not need to be a huge range of motion, right? So look here. Elbows go back to about a 45 degree angle. That's it. Knee drives across to that opposite 
mountain climber right there. Yes. Obliques are working. Oh my gosh, you guys, I know you are strong right here. There's nothing easy about that bike push up. Make it small. It does not need to be huge and should not be fast. You have one more. Three, two, one. Drop down. Take these 10 seconds to find your breath right here. Good squeeze. Now, we have one more set of your burpees. Stand on up. You're going to do lateral shuffles. Drop down. Burpee. Stand back up. Lateral shuffle. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. Lateral shuffle. Drop down, give me one burpee. If you would like, do the jump at the top. Jump on up. Get that heart rate up right here. It's down and up. Good, right here. Down. Stand up. Now, if you want to take that low impact action, one, two big steps. Drop it down. Walk it back. Walk it forward. Stand up. Two lateral shuffles. Big and strong right there. Down. Step back. Step forward, stand up right there. You want to take the lateral shuffle and then drop down. Stand back up. you got options, right? It's all up to you. You have 10 more seconds right here. Stay with it. This is your heart rate burst. Good cardio, strong. Like Chris always says, cardio is cardio right here. Three, two, one, rest. You have your 30 seconds rest. That was block number three. Whew, feeling a little warm it's a little chilly here in minnesota today so feels good to get that sweat working take a second towel water up that was block number three moving on to block number four again total body right here in this next block we're gonna start with bounding from one leg so i want you to reach back like you're doing a single leg deadlift and you're gonna jump okay so We'll switch your legs halfway through. I will cue you. You have four, three, two, one. Reach back, single leg deadlift, and then you're gonna jump right there. So it's a lot of balance on that leg. Down, up, down, up. Yes, you can. If you need, tap that foot back and just jump right here. But I want you to feel the backside of your hamstring as you pull forward. You have four, three, two, one, switch leg, opposite leg you should be jumping off from, right here. If you need, tap that leg back and just jump. I want you to try and find that balance. It is not about speed here. If you can and you have a lot of that balance working for you today, we go a little bit faster. You have five more seconds on this leg. Four, three, two, one, holy legs. I know, I know. All right, come down to the ground. You have in this crab position, you're gonna tap your knee and then you're gonna tap your toe switch. In three, two, one, I know, tap your knee, tap your toe switch, knee, toe, knee, toe, knee, toe. So there is a lot of your upper body holding you up. I want you to twist as you reach for that opposite toe. So it's knee, place it back down. So your butt stays off the ground the entire time. Right knee, toe, knee, toe. Find your pace, find your rhythm. Now as you reach, feel that oblique as you crunch your side body up. Goal is to try to keep your hips lifted off the ground the entire time. So try not to lower and lift like that. Right, you're coming down, but that butt stays high. You have four, three, two, and one, drop it down. So we find a plank. I'm gonna come towards you. We have plank walks forward. You're gonna switch over. Find that bear curl back. Four, three, get ready, two, one. That 10 seconds goes by super quick. I know, flip on over. Keep your butt lifted. Flip on over, plank right here. Flip on over. Keep your hips lifted as you squeeze. Now, find that bare position, knees underneath your hips, right? Switching it up here at halfway. Your knees are underneath your hips as you find that plank position. So here, knees under your hips. Walk it forward for four. Flip it on over for four. Yes, you can stay strong. Breathe. 
upper body, lower body, total body, three, two, one. Take that rest. You have your last exercise. Hands behind your head. Step up, step up, jump back down. In three, two, one. Last exercise of this block. Stay low, jump, come back down to the ground. Now, option to hand to have your hands behind your head right here so that you stay low, right? Notice how when I stand up, it's not here. Right, if you need hands, come to heart center. Step up, land softly, step back down. If you need, take the jump out of it. Step, squeeze your glutes at the top, step back down. You have 20 seconds left. Your big rest coming up right here, right after this. So know that this movement is not coming back right here. God, yes, you can push yourself. When you start to doubt yourself, or you gotta change that mindset. It's all about that positive mindset. You woke up, you press play, you're here. Three, last one, two, one. Take that time. 30 extra seconds of rest right here to grab your breath. Ooh, towel, water, how we doing? Good, take that extra time. Block number five. There's seven blocks, team. You're over halfway. Take this time to just reset, refocus. I need a little bit extra water today. Good, so I'm gonna get you ready for that next movement. You still take your breath. You have cross behind lunges. Opportunity to get that hurry to come back down, but still working on strength in that body. 10 more seconds, here we go. All right, take a step back, find your placement in your home. You have four. Cross behind lunges in three, two, one. All right, cross behind. Step up, cross behind. Now, I know that this isn't like super crazy, intense with that heart rate. Yes, this is where I want you to focus on form, and I want you to focus on your pace, right? So if you're feeling like, okay, I can speed it up a little bit, great. But don't do that unless you've got that form down, right? Chest is tall, so not leaning forward. I still need you, even though you're crossing behind in a 90-90 lunge, stand up right here. Take this time to use your core. Lower down. For if you would like, hands behind your head. That's gonna make it a little bit harder with that heart rate, right? Anytime we have our hands above our heart, gets our heart rate up a little bit higher. Right here, weight is heavy through your heel. In five, four, three, take that rest in two, and one, right here. Back to your plank walk. You're gonna walk four times. Three, four, you have four mountain climbers. One, two, three, four, you have four. Get ready in three, two, one. Find that plank position, four, three, two, one. It's four mountain climbers, here we go. Now walk it to the other side. It's four, three, two, one. Walk it, four, three, two, one. Four mountain climbers. Now, what stays in alignment right here? So as you walk it out, it is not about that side body moving, right? If you need, you take this from your knees and you find four, you still walk it out. Three, two, one, find that mountain climber right here. Find your pace. You have 10 more seconds. Yes, I'm with you right here. Go to walk it out. Squeeze your glutes right here. Three, two, stand up in one, right? Stand up, heart rate is high. So we're gonna keep our head above our heart. You have lunge back with a punch, come to the center and switch, are you ready? Three, yes you can, in two, one, drop it down, punch, opposite arm, come forward. Right, so as you get the hang of this one, I want you to really punch it forward. Punch it to the front, stand at guard as you switch. Now if you need to take the jump out of it, step back, punch it forward, stand up, step it back, punch it forward, good, right there, squeeze. Down, center, down, center, heart rate, legs, on fire, I know, I know. Right here, but guess what? You don't have to do this movement again. Right here, this is the only time you do it today. So ask yourself, can you push yourself through these 50 seconds? Yes, you can. Right here, you're strong. Six, five, don't quit now. Three, two, one, done with that exercise. Come down to the ground, heart rate is high. Hands behind your head, butterfly sit-ups. You're gonna bring yourself all the way up, hands, Go as far forward as you can, 
You have three, let's go. Two, one, butterfly sit up. Soles of your feet are together. Now the goal here is to reach your hands past your feet, come back down to the ground. Use a little bit of momentum with this movement, right? So it doesn't need to be like chopping, right? But use a little bit of that momentum as you reach yourself all the way past. Abdominal squeeze, tight, soles of your feet together. Yes, if that is too much on your hips, anything like that, bring your feet back to that train track position, come all the way up, right here. But just do what works best for you, right? I know you're at home in the comfort of your house by yourself, right? Maybe with your family members, but this is time for you to find your ultimate strength. Three, last one, two, one, take that rest. Right team, that was block number five. So towel water, you have 30 seconds of that extra recovery. Right here, grab your water, take a sip. Now this next block is gonna be a little bit more focused on your core. I'm gonna set you up for this first exercise as you take that break. Bare position, hands stacked underneath your shoulders, knees beneath your feet. Now you're gonna reach one arm forward, reach it out to the side, back down. Reach the opposite arm forward, side, reach back down. Cool? I'll go over some more cues. Bring yourself back down to the ground. You still have a few more seconds of this rest. So hands stack directly underneath your shoulders. I'm gonna turn to the side. One arm reaches forward. You reach out to the side, you come back down. Right? This is a lot of core and shoulder stability. Set yourself up. We have four seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one. Pop up. One arm reaches forward. One arm, that same arm reaches to the side, back down. Reach forward, side, down. Forward, side, down. Now the key here, knees are just a few inches off of the floor, right? So we're not up here. I need you hovering. And then as you reach your arms forward and out to the side, you do not sway your hips side to side. So you are in one straight block the entire time. You should feel belly button to your spine. I want you to close off your rib cage. So don't let your belly hang out. I want you to pull your hips, your hip bones in towards one another. You have 10 more seconds. I know, shoulders on fire. You got it right here. Reach right here. Good, squeeze. Drop it down. One, you have 10 seconds. All right. Come on down right here. You're gonna roll all the way up. Grab one leg, back down. Switch. You have three, two, one right here. So hands press off the ground, reach toward that opposite leg, back down, stand up, squeeze, back down, over up, right here. Find your pace, lift your booty off the ground as you squeeze, right? So I want you to feel opposite oblique. It's a lot to press yourself off the ground and right back down. Yes, you can. Good. Breathe right here. Back down. This is an opportunity to hit that core without being on your shoulders, right? We do a lot of plank work. So I want you off your shoulders here. Yes, breathe. You have six, five, breathe one more time. Three, two, one. Again, another opportunity to be off of your shoulders. You have Russian twist, feet off the ground. Squeeze those inner thighs together. Here we go with three, two, one, side to side, Russian twist. So this is where I want you to start. Feet are hovering off the ground. You reach side to side. I want you to reach all the way down to the ground. Now, if this is too much at any point, feet come to the ground, slightly back, right? So we're not sitting on top of our sit bones. You're slightly rocked back and you reach side to side. Squeeze, again, hips pull in towards the center so you're not letting your belly just hang out, right? Squeeze in and close off your rib cage. If you feel that you can do about four of these, and then maybe pop your feet up, right? Try something new today. Don't always stick with that variation that you do every single time, right? We wanna change our body and you have to make those differences in these movements, yes? Three, two, one, relax it out. So back to that plank. You're in that plank, forearms, toes, they want you to reach, opposite arm, opposite leg goes out. In three, I'll face you, in two, one, reach out, back in, 
out, in, out, in. A few options here where you can be from your elbows or you can be on your hands and you reach out and out. Use your obliques. This does not need to be fast. So as you reach opposite arm, opposite leg, you're reaching towards the opposite side of the room. You have to stabilize yourself in the center, right? If you would like, up to your hands, reach. If you are comfortable, down in that forearm plank, reach. Step it out, reach. Step it in, right? Squeeze does not need to be fast. I want you to find control. You have five, reach. Four, reach. Three, hello, balance. Two, one. Stand it up. You have just about 40 seconds of that rest right there. That was block number six. You have one more block. Take this time to towel water off, knowing that this is your last block of work today. My shirt is changing colors. Okay, so last block to push yourself. This is where I ask you to go a little bit harder, right? This is where bodies are under fatigue, which is the goal, right? It's okay if you're feeling uncomfortable. That's a good thing, right? You've made it there. Know that you can push yourself. Find yourself back into your center of your space. We have plie, or we have squat to releve right here. In three, start it, two, one. It's squat, releve, squat, releve, squat, releve, right here. So butt goes back. As you come up to the top, I want those heels up, right? So I say releve as a dancer, and you're probably like, what the heck is she talking about? Right, it's my lingo right here. So heels come up, you find your toes, and you come back down. Right, notice that squat is not here, butt is back, weight is through your heels, and then you go drive yourself up right here. So you should start to feel your calves as you spring to your toes, right? If you would like a little bit more cardio, now is your time for your last 10 seconds to bound off and find that jump squat right there, or you stay here. Yes, it's up to you. Five, four, three, two, one, right here, good. So. We have squat, crisscross jacks. It's down, squat at the top, or come up to the top, squat back down. In three, two, one. Squat, jack, squat, crisscross at the top, right here. If you need it, take the jump out of it. You squat, you bring your feet up and cross, and you come back down. Right, so still finding that inner thigh activation as you squeeze those legs together, right? Use not just momentum, but I want you to use your inner thighs as you squeeze together at the top. Heart rate coming up here. Yes, I know, shoulders down. Good. Squeeze right here. This is your final block. And notice, we have not done any repeater movements. Good, strong. Right here. 10, nine, how many more can you get in? In the last seven, six, five, stay light on your feet. Four, three, two, one, done. You're coming down to the ground. 10 seconds. Eight, seven. You have mountain climbers in four, three, two, one. Maybe you start out close right here. Drive, drive right here. Knee comes in the center. Find your pace. Right now, if you'd like to pick it up right here, it's in, in, in. Maybe you take four, three at that slow pace right here, and then you speed it up. It's up to you. 50 seconds right here. You're already down to 25 seconds. Shoulders stacked directly on top of your wrist. Right, don't pull yourself backwards and try to do those mountain climbers. Reset, hands go right underneath your shoulders. Right here, mountain climbers till the very end. Good, squeeze. 12 strong seconds. You have one more move. Push yourself right here. You have six, five, four on your backs. Three, two, one. This is how we're gonna end this thing. Roll yourself back, roll yourself up, jump, and back down. Here we go, last movement in three, two, one. Roll yourself back, roll yourself up, jump at the top, right, roll. You might have to use your hands to press off, right? Maybe you come up and you just find, stand tall, right back down. But lot of control right here. Core, upper body, lower body, getting yourself off the ground. Good, strong, right here, breathe. You have 20 seconds left. This is it for your workout today. Body weight intervals, 
13 seconds, I'm with you, let's go. 12, how many more can you get in? Great, maybe you add a jump right here. Last one, one more because you can with me. Three, two, one. Done, you guys, check that off the list. Whew, grab towel water. Let that heart rate cool down a little bit. How are we doing, you guys? That was seven blocks. So about 38, almost 40 minutes. We're going to cool down. I know, I know. But let that heart rate come down just a little bit before we cool down that body. So water looking so good, you guys, today. All right. Once you cool, you've gotten your heart rate to come back down, squat down, reach hands overhead. You're like, oh my gosh, no more squats. I know. Right here, just stretching out that lower body. Hands go overhead. Press it back down one more, just like that. Whoo! Awesome work, you guys. Same thing as we started out our day. Right? Grab one wrist, hand opposite wrist. Lift yourself up and over. So I don't want you to just pull yourself. I want you to think up and then out. Feel your oblique pull through that side body. Oh yes, right there. Good, stand back up. Grab opposite wrist. Reach yourself up first. Then lift over. So I'm going to think of lifting up and out rather than just out. Hold right there. Good. Stand tall. Why don't you give yourself a big hug? Great. I know I'm feeling my shoulders these days with all the plank work that I feel like I'm doing. Right. Just swing your arms. But we didn't do this in the beginning, which we normally do. But hey, we can do it at the end. Opposite arm goes forward and back. Right there. Heart rate is still coming down. Yes. Body weight interval is so good. So I had a friend kind of answer. 45 seconds on, hands go up, reach yourself forward. Um, I asked, would you like the 45 seconds with 15 seconds of rest? Reach side to side, just bend one knee, switch to the other side right there. Or would you like 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off? She's like, hey, let's do 50 seconds. Both hands to the ground. One arm down, reach that opposite arm high, roll that wrist out. Yes, just like we started. So you can do anything, right? 50 seconds on, switch arms, and 10 seconds off mentally just feels different, right? But think to yourself, both hands down, walk yourself out to a down dog. It's just five extra seconds, right? And I say just, it is an extra five seconds. Pedal your feet to the floor. But it definitely feels different, and we just have to mentally find, go get over that hump. Find that runner's position. Reach your arm up. Bring it back down to the ground. Back up. Bring it back down to the ground. Bring it back up. Good. Switch arms. Switch legs. So this should feel different than it did at the very beginning. Should feel a little bit easier, a little bit better. Take a seat on the ground. Butterfly soles of your feet together, heels of your feet together. I want you to lift yourself up tall first. Right now, just bring yourself forward. Right? I like to use my elbows to press down through my knees, right? But if your hips are not as flexible, just find what's comfortable here, right? So the goal is to try to get your nose, and they always used to tell us nose to your toes. You actually want to reach a little bit further forward. Right, with a flat back, however. So I don't want you around in this position. I want you lifted up and then bend forward from there. Good. Just start to stretch it out, lengthen it out. Now let's bring one knee in to our chest. Bend that knee over. Lift your chest tall and find a seated twist. Feeling that opposite side of your glute as you pull that knee in. Chest stays tall. Switch legs. Good. Bring that opposite knee into your chest. Find your chest lifted. Head goes towards the ceiling. And then a slight seated twist. So you should feel that rinse out through the back side of your body. Now both legs forward. Straighten those legs out in front of you. Seated forward fold. Hands go overhead. You're going to slowly reach your hands down. Again, this is not about rounding through your spine. It is about keeping that spine long. Head to tailbone should be in one straight line. Now, I want you to try and just settle on in to this forward fold. Talk about that workout today, guys. So about 40 minutes of that body weight movement. It's 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off, and you 
crushed it, right? So make sure that you're cooling down. We've got a plenty of more um, yoga, Pilates, stretching classes on GetHealthyUTV.com. Go check them out. If you feel like you need a little bit extra today, go ahead and do that. The sun is shining. It's a little bit cold here. I want you to enjoy the rest of your day, but you just did that, right? So give yourself credit for everything that you just did. Seven different blocks, no repeaters, and you just check off that workout for the day.